Hey, hey, happy people. So today we are going to make uh, zucchini koftas, K-O-F-T-A-S, our zucchini balls, fried zucchini balls. So you know me, let's get started here. So first here I have some zucchini I have just uh, shredded up and I did drain as much liquid. I just pretty much put it in a strainer and I pressed as much liquid as I could out of it. Um, <clears throat> This is just one zucchini. I am making a small version of this. Usually it's like three zucchinis, so I am cutting this in a third. So you can make a larger one if you're doing it for uh, entertainment or taking somewhere or something like that. But I'm just doing a small version today because it's just me and Happy and we don't need that many. So this is one zucchini that I have cut up, uh, shredded up, strained to drain as much liquid off as possible. So I'm going to add this to our bowl here. bowl here um, I have this is a third of a red bell pepper a third of a purple onion I have two tablespoons of uh, minced garlic there this is fresh garlic mince and I really did not measure the cilantro I just pretty much uh, picked a, uh, just snapped off a handful and cut it up um, I would say about a third of a cup maybe a half a cup I did uh, chop these as small as possible because your zucchini is kind of uh, shredded really good and you don't want the big chunks in there. You do not have to use the red or the red, purple, I mean the red and the purple uh, bell peppers and onion. You can use your regular yellow onion and green bell pepper, but this gives you more color and we like color in our food. So <clears throat> we're going to add all this to our zucchini. In this little bowl here, I have a half a teaspoon of sea salt. This is a fourth of a teaspoon of red pepper flakes. And this is a fourth of a teaspoon of a dried arugula. The dried arugula is going to act as our uh, black pepper substitute. Add all that in there. Alright, get that mixed up in there pretty good. You can adjust your seasonings and your quantities as much as you like. This is just an easy recipe here, so I try not to overdo it with this one. I have here, this is chickpea flour. This is a half a cup, but I tend to uh, just kind of go fourth of a cup at a time until I get enough for the mix because it just depends on how much water your zucchini has in it, your onions, things like that. Sometimes it's a half a cup, sometimes it's like three-fourths of a cup. It just depends on how much liquid your vegetables are holding. So, I'm going to go with a fourth of a cup first and just mix this in until you get like a nice little dough here. don't want to go too much with the flour because you don't want it to be uh, too much flour when you fry it. You don't want to turn into a soupy mess from the liquid. But you do need enough flour to absorb the liquid in the zucchini. Alright, so now, 
We're now going to be up to one cup of chickpea flour. Maybe not a full cup. You want enough flour for it to stick together and not fall apart when you fry them. That's what we're looking for. If you don't have chickpea flour, you can use any other. You can use the spelt, kamut, quinoa flour, rye, whatever flour you have, whatever you like. Maybe the four cup. Alright, so one full cup for one zucchini this time. And that is enough. That's pretty much how it should look. Alright, now I have waiting in the wings here already. My oil has been heating up. This is just grapeseed oil. Uh, you can use avocado, walnut, again, whatever you have. Turn my heat up just a little bit there. You want this to be on a medium high, high heat, but not too hot to where it's just burning the outside before the inside is cooked. Okay, so just a little bit for a tester here just to see if my oil has started. Oh, I think we're ready. So now, I got an ice cream scoop. You don't need one. Your regular spoon will do. You would just pretty much spoon it and drop. Spoon it and drop. Um, I'm just going to use my ice cream scoop here. Alright, so now I'm going to turn my heat down just a little bit because as you can see the outsides are starting to brown really easily there. And again, you want this to be on like a medium high, high heat, like not too high. Alright people, so our kuftas are all ready, as you can see. I do suggest uh, frying these to a darker golden brown color. Do not leave them a light brown. Chickpea flour it has a very raw flavor. So if you do not cook it all the way through, you will taste the rawness. Pretty much earthy, like dirt, earthy tone. So I do recommend cooking them until they are a dark brown color so that way you make sure you get all of your uh, chickpea flour cooked and it doesn't have that flavor to it. Alright, so now I got a little plate here. What I usually use with this, I know a lot of people like to put this in like some kind of gravy sauce, but I feel like it makes it too soft. Like eventually it's just soggy and I don't like that. So, I use a salsa. I have a... Uh, this is just a finely minced salsa, not a chunky salsa. I do not recommend a chunky salsa with this. You want a fine one or a very mesh one so that way you can just dip or spoon over and eat. Um, and I usually just plate them like this. For these, you have to just do like one plate because usually we just eat out of one plate here together. Just your finger foods. Alright, and look at that. Look at that. 
Alright, so this little baby one that I had left, that's the one we're going to test out here. So, break it open. And look at that. Alright, that's what you want there. Make sure your chickpea flour has cooked and is not uh, mushy or runny in the inside. <clears throat> Alright, and dip it in a little salsa here. I'm telling you, this is awesome. Easy and quick, not a lot of ingredients, so that's the best thing. And you can have it as a snack, you can actually eat it as a meal. I've done that before too. I've actually taken them for lunch. <laughs> quite hot right now, though. But that is pretty good. Again, adjust your seasonings if you like a little more saltiness or if you like it to be spicy. I would add some cayenne, a little more uh, red pepper flakes to it, maybe some habanero. You can add other uh, ingredients too. You don't have to just use bell peppers and onions. You can use whatever you have in your fridge. Chives, some dill in there, whatever you have that's left over. Add it in there. Nobody will care. It'll be good. Alright. And that is it, people. That's how we make an alkaline version of the uh, zucchini kuftas or zucchini balls. So, mmm. That's good. It's nice and warm too. My zucchini isn't too soggy. Again, make sure you drain as much water. You don't have to like strain it to where it's completely dry, but as much liquid as you can out of the zucchini. Because if not, you'll have to use a lot of flour to absorb the liquid. And then your zucchini, when it's cooking, it'll pretty much steam the fry. So you'll have a vichy zucchini. You don't want that. But this is good. All right, people. Until the next video, stay happy.